You've already shot yourself in the foot. Agree. We're expensive. We're too expensive. Chef's correct. It was a, a point well taken, and I'm always willing to learn more. Time to move forward, and I mean move forward in a big way. We're going to cook some specials. It's going to go on tonight's menu, and it's a small step in the right direction. OK? Um, when was the last time you had a burger on the menu? We've never. Never. And as a bistro, yeah. Why would you not have a burger on the regular menu? Chef, when I did talk to the staff, they didn't want a $10 burger. They don't want to sell it. Not the staff. Right, but, but that they were... Customers. Right. So the staff didn't want a $10 they did, burger. Right, they felt that, like, you know... Is this for you guys? No, no. Come with me. OK. You, cook my burgers. Gotcha. Uh, where's the team? Uh, right, I asked Joe, when was the last time we had a burger on the menu? He said, the staff don't want to sell a $10 burger. Is that right? No. 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 You're not anti-selling a burger? No. Every time I smell BS, I'm going to go for you. Let's go. Can I interject something? I'm busy. After that, toast the buns. Yeah? Yep. Nice. What's that? What's that? Uh, it looks like walleye. It's exactly that. Congratulations. By the way, it's fresh. We, we serve fresh walleye. Uh-huh. So when you knew I was coming here, you gave me a trio of frozen fish of the day. Why wouldn't you get me the freshest local number one fish? Uh, you're, you're right, Chef. This is local to the area. We should serve it more. Local to the area. It's the number one already available fish. I hate to say it, but Chef Ramsay is correct. With the walleye, I want to serve your little corn cake. Cheerful, right? Easy to do, yeah? Green beans seasoned with some fresh chives. Give that little bit of freshness to it. If you're going to use herbs, then cook with the herbs. Don't garnish with the herbs. Don't garnish. No, cook with them. We're a bistro. Unintimidating, exciting right. food served at cheap prices with some real good flavor, right? That's the secret of a bistro. The burgers. How to present a burger. We'll start off the strong base, some lettuce to protect the bun. That's it. From there, caramelized onions. So it's a rich mm -hmm. roasted onion with aged balsamic vinegar. How long for the burgers, please? Good. Down, please. Thank you. Nice. Protect. And protect. From there, touch more lettuce. And then I've got a sort of Thousand Island special sauce to give that sort of zesty, mm -hmm. yeah? Hot. And that's to the cheese, yeah? Toasted bun. I can look at my burger and identify what I'm eating. See what I mean? Yes. Through there. A nice handful of fries on the burger. Two specials. Let's go. So, tonight's specials. Local, fresh, delicious walleye. And there we have a classic burger. Dig in. It looks awesome, chef. How appetizing do those burgers look? Delicious. I'm not big on burgers, but I'm going to give him his accolades. That was a very good example of how we need to recreate the bistro. Oh, my goodness. Is that not amazing? Coming up. Joe. What do you, you want me to do? You want me to stop? Just when you thought Joe had turned the corner. Joe is just completely shutting down. He goes right back to his old ways. Wake up! You wake up! And he is determined to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Chef Ramsay. We don't have it. Oh, here we go. It's the fight of the year. Are you that stupid? Coming up on Kitchen Nightmares. Come in here and help me instead of running your jaw. <laughs> As well as it may hurt, I am so sorry, but I'm only here for one reason, and that's to get this place fixed. I know, I appreciate it. <laughs> OK. I hope you enjoy this one. So do I. Thank you. What is in there? Come on. Seriously? It looks like a plate full of puke. Look at it. What a mess. Karen, two seconds. Um, mm. All that sauce on there, mm -hmm. you know, that's not normal, is it? Oh, right. yes, yes. Really? Yeah. When was the last time you tasted this? Um, I've, I've had it. I don't really like it. You walk through the door and you see the decor dated. I didn't think the food would be beyond dated. All right, I'll take it back. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. 
He says, our food is dated. The decor is dated. Our food is dated. What the hell does it mean, dated? Old school cooking, Peter. Dated. Fucking amazing. It's fucking amazing. He didn't like anything. Oh, my god. I mean, shit. This doesn't like nothing. The pita was good. How about mashed potatoes? Did you like that? No, they'd be too salty. This is going to be the longest night of my life. Peter needs to hear these things because the restaurant needs to change. You ask him to come out? Sure. Please. Maybe Chef can get through to him, because we can. Listen, you told me when we first met that your food was 9 out of 10. I think so. Peter. Well, this is the authentic food. Authentic food. Let me tell you, that is not authentic Greek food. Pumpkin hummus. Hideous. There's some things that work with pumpkin. Hummus is not one of them. And the gyro? Whose idea was it to macerate everything with the sauce on there? What is that? It's something we've had for years. It's like a liter of sauce. I mean, you say it was bad. I don't think it's bad. Yeah, OK. Moussaka? I mean, it's so sweet. Greasy. Eggplant, undercooked. So I had that bitter aftertaste of the eggplant at the bottom. Undercooked? When it's completely white in the center, it's not cooked long enough. I disagree. If it's not white, and you're talking to you want it black, you want it burnt? I'm not asking you to take it personally. I'm not. Take it professionally. You can give me attitude. Do whatever you want. I don't have an attitude. But if you want me to come in and blow smoke up your ass and tell you it's delicious, yeah, I'm not the one. Peter, have you not thought about changing stuff? These are foods I grew up with. What am I supposed to change? You've got to take your head out of the clouds and get into the 21st century. I mean, you don't even realize how much damage you're causing yourself and your family. It's got to stop. I need some fresh air. I, I'm, I'm going to be back for service. I want to see how this place functions. I don't think it can be as depressing as what I've just experienced. I can still taste that fucking garlic. That was embarrassing. I'm not going to crumble because one person says that our food is crap. Shut up. I'm not even talking to you. Stop crying. You're just afraid to get rid of the old menu. What do you do with the customers that drive all the way to come here and, and enjoy something that they've had for the last 30 years? Old ways are not working. If you're going to survive, you have to change. Can't let go of something. I mean, we've invested everything into this place. I'm not willing to throw it away because you can't change a menu. That is fucking disgusting. Pinwheel. Yeah, I feel like doing a cartwheel out of here. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, he's banging his hands on his head. That's really bad. Is he allergic to salt? No. There's no seasoning on there whatsoever. Aged balsamic vinegar, macerated with brown sugar on salmon, needs to be backed up with salt. Shall I take no? it away? Please, yeah, okay. thank you. You're welcome. Holy crap. OK. Peter, not like this. He thinks that the balsamic, the reduction, needs to be backed up with salt. Hmm. He wants to know the idea between the pinwheel of the salmon. He doesn't understand it. I think it's interesting. I like it. I think it's a, I think it's a cool presentation on the plate. I like it. OK. Way to stand up for your food, Reese. Way to stand up for your food. But I do. I like that. That's one of my favorite things on our menu is that presentation of the salmon. What can you do? Oh, shit. Here he comes. Introduce me to the team. This is Jeff. Jeff. Hi. Dennis. Dennis. Yep. And this is Rocky, right? I feel like I've just gone 12 rounds with you, let me tell you. Let me read you something. Prohibition Grill Southern Cuisine. Chef Rocky strives for quality and freshness. Correct. Freshness? The soup from last week that was called Soup of the Day. Gloopy, under-seasoned, it wasn't even hot. It was just hideous. Big fan of that soup. Big fan of the soup. What I've just eaten, has been an embarrassment. Pan-fried oysters, just solid cornmeal with no seasoning. It needs some form of seasoning. I didn't know that. You don't even know what soup of the day is. 
I told you about the pinwheel of salmon? Can you go and get me a pinwheel? Yes. Hurry up, please. Chef Ramsay, I like the pinwheel. I'm not asking you like it. Oh. You give your food 10 out of 10, so right. me talking to you about food, it's like, yeah, I'm talking to a brick wall behind you. Right. I liked it. I thought it looked nice and kind of unique and different. Kind of unique and different? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And how many strips did you get out of a salmon? 14. Like, until I just looked at it, I didn't even think this was so small. Right. And even the bloodlines on there as well. Nasty. Chef to chef, have you any idea how bad that makes you look? On decisions about how food is prepared, I believe in what they do back there. That's their thing, especially Rocky. Come on. Color greens, overcooked, tasteless mush. I thought they tasted great. They and were you know overcooked, what? though. You knew they were overcooked. Have right. you any idea how fucking deluded you sound? What? How can something be fucking delicious and overcooked? There's no such thing. Man, uh. are customers that stupid? Are you? No. Are you? No. Are you? No. And you are. Yes, sir. Why did you ask me here if your food's 10? Well, I was hoping that you could come here and help me get this business to the next level because I can't seem to do that on my own right now. How bad is your business currently? How much money per week are you losing? At least $2,000. So that's $8,000 a month. That's 100 grand a year. Does that not sink in anyone's fucking mind? I don't know what to say. I like the food. I think the food is great here. It's like you've shut shop up and gone home. Chappie is not very happy. You're done. Are you done? Of what? Just cooking in general. No. That's you at your best. Pardon? That's you at your best. Kind of. Really? Uh, I've toned down some spices for Nashville. When we first opened, people complained. Too oh, salty, every too spicy. Too, too much heat. I'm not looking for excuses. Well, I, I, you know, what can I say? You asked me to help, but I'm not going to sit here and blow smoke up your asses and say I food was amazing. I don't want you to blow uh, anything back. up my whatever. So let's not go here and go through yeah. this. You've said your piece. Let's move on. Yeah. You've given up. Given up what? OK, I'm going to get some fresh air. Me too. Do it. OK. Wow. Tom, order up. Uh, Mark, how does the line work? Fry cook. Fry cook. Who's frying tonight? Real. Chef. Chef, I'm frying tonight. OK, great. Oysters. Wow. Uh, Chef, they stay out like that? It should be, Tim. You are kidding me, aren't you? No, no, no. I got met the mom from the check. Wow. I'll check the tip. Uh, listen, I'm not that dumb now. Just put ice in there to check the temperature. Ah, no. I'll throw some ice and I'll check it. I want to look good. Right now, we got the first ticket. We got a grill grouper working. Yeah. Chappie, you fry the grouper with the beef? We blacken everything in the same pan, yes. What happens if the customer was a pescatarian? A pescatarian? Yeah, they only eat fish, and they don't expect to eat their fish with meat juices. I've never heard of one, to tell you the truth. Oh, my God. Wow, can't believe that's going out. Uh, Tom, turn me to that table. Thank you. Sorry for interrupting. Are you pescatarian? I am. Can I borrow you for two seconds? Would you mind? <laughs> Thank you. Chappie, have you got two seconds? It's one of your customers. Really? Yeah. Let me explain something really important, because I'm not fucking around now. This lady is a pescatarian. Strictly fish. What I'm trying to explain, because you're not listening, is that her fish was cooked in there along with the beef. It's not a general practice. It's just something you never do. It's the golden rule, but it's totally oblivious. Do you get sick on meat? Oh, very. I'm sorry. I'll make sure that's in a pan of his own, as it should be, and cook properly, OK? I appreciate My apologies. That. Thank you. Gets cooked in the same stuff that the meat's been cooked in. Oh, oh my and god, it's disgusting back there. Why is oh, why is mayonnaise that color? 
I thought that was a jar of mustard. What's the date on this? Sell by 27th of February 2010. Expired three years ago. My God. What's that? How old is that? Raw beef. And cooked beef. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. As I always say, everything you need to know about a chef is in his fridge. Shrimp. Just stuck there. Sat. Absolutely stinking. Oh, my God. Look at that. What in the fuck is that? There's a shrimp hanging down there. That's all mold. Unbelievable. Bloody hell.